the Spanish Armed Forces had deployed a significant military force of naval, land and air assets to take part in the overarching Steadfast Defender 2024. This deployment is the largest manoeuvres carried out by NATO since the Cold War. The three Spanish Navy frigates deployed on February 24th, 2024 to the Norwegian Sea are conducting escort manoeuvres for HMS Prince of Wales, UK-led carry strike group and a NATO amphibious task group as part of Exercise Nordic Response 2024. The complex land forces deployment and logistics phase of Steadfast Defender began in early February. The exercise is called Brilliant Jump 24, an operational and tactical level alert and rapid deployment exercise. Here, the 590 feet long Panama registered row row cargo ship Blue Wave Harmony is assisted by a tugboat as she makes her way along the Stetchin Harbour in the port of the city of Stetchin, Poland. On board the ship is part of a contingent of 300 Spanish soldiers and 90 military vehicles, with the majority of the soldiers coming from the 10th Brigade, Guzman Albareno, based in Cordoba. But they also have members of 21st Logistics Regiment, based in Sevilla, and the Regiment of Transmissions No. 1, RT1, who mostly arrived in Poland by a Spanish Air Force, Kesa C-295 medium tactical transport aircraft. The Spanish soldiers have deployed to Poland's Drosko Pomorski training area. They are here for the next several days conducting battlefield manoeuvres training and maintenance on equipment and vehicles. The complex deployment exercise Brilliant Jump 24 is now effectively over and the next phase of exercises are about to begin. Um, eh, la NATO allies France, Germany, Italy, Lithuania, Slovenia and the United States have also deployed, gathering to take part in Exercise Dragon 24, a Polish-led multinational exercise involving 20,000 soldiers from 10 countries, including 15,000 soldiers from the Polish Armed Forces. The Spanish soldiers with their heavy armour will soon join their NATO allies' tanks and armoured vehicle columns displaying a show of force that Russia will find hard to ignore. During the first stage of the exercise, Polish and US military engineers using bridge lane systems enabled freedom of movement for a NATO multinational armoured force marching more than 300 kilometres along two corridors, crossing streams, ditches and canals to reinforce the rapidly deployed spearheading force. The British-led Very High Readiness Joint Task Force VJTF these American and Polish engineers know heavy armoured vehicles are heading their way and need to complete the reinforcing of the canal bridge. One of the first armoured vehicles to arrive is a French Leclerc main battle tank. No surprise really as it's actually one of the fastest tanks in the world. It's also one of the lighter main battle tanks. It's a good first test then for the canal bridge. This multinational armoured marching column was now facing its biggest challenge as they approached the mighty Vistula River near Kozemvio, Poland. Fortunately for the huge armoured column, soldiers from the unique German-British Amphibious Engineer Battalion 130 had deployed with 27 M3 amphibious bridging vehicles to Poland's Vistula River. The Spanish army contingent appears to have made very good progress. As well as the M3 rigs, 
French engineers have deployed their EFA mobile amphibious float bridge system. These wide wet gap crossing capability systems will enable the Allied forces to cross the river efficiently and quickly without having to rely on a single fixed access bridge. It would appear at this point Exercise Dragon 24 has met its objectives and has gathered forces to rapidly deploy and march across a challenging environment to face and engage a potential threat. Claro, yo estoy aquí para defender un poco lo que considero que es el sentimiento de mi país, de España, y sobre todo a mi familia también. Soy David Domínguez Rodríguez, soy conductor de Leopard 12 en el Ejército de Tierra. Mi padre estuvo en el Ejército, que se... él era su oficial. Lo que más me gusta es que él te está orgulloso de que yo haya seguido también sus pasos. ...mantenerlo en perfectas condiciones... ...para que el carro en cualquier momento sea al 100%... ...para mí, vamos, el ejército es importante... ...aparte de defender los valores... ...trabajamos también para ayuda humanitaria... ...es un trabajo súper divertido... ...cuando puedes tener libertad para conducir... ...yo voy a ponerlo a 85 km por hora... ...coger el coche después de... ...de estar una semana conduciendo el carro de combate... ...se me cala tres o cuatro veces... ...podía haber tardado cinco minutos... ...y he tardado casi media hora... <ríe> ...muchas conversaciones con la tripulación... ...que al final son los que más te conocen... ¿eh? ...prácticamente es como tu familia... Y ...lo compartimos todo.